What is up my Aquariuses? So glad to be here for your April tarot card love reading. Let's see what's going on in your love life. While I shuffle, um, I'm going to use my Hanson deck like I always do because I love this deck. It just gives me such good results. Um, I'm going to go through my little schmeal. Just remember this won't resonate with everyone. Half of it might, all of it might, some of it might, hopefully 100% of it might. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and also hit that notification button. Even though I've been on here for a few months on YouTube, that's kind of a newbie when it comes to the tarot card world. And um, if I say he, she, king, queen, um, just for night, just remember that I am reading feminine and masculine energy and not men and women, not male and female is what I mean to say. And that's just how my gift works. I pick, we all have feminine and masculine energy within us. So I'm just, I, I pull from energies and not so much from sexes. And I don't mean sex like sex. I mean like male or female. And also time is fluid. So whenever you see this, even if it's after April, this is when spirit wanted you to see this video and brought you to me because your spirit guides bring you to everything you need to know. And also, um, this is for any Aquarius sun, moon, and rising. And I actually did, what was it? I think it was the um, Aries video where it actually said Aquarius. So some of you might be dealing with an Aries because that like kept coming out of my mouth like crazy so if you're dealing with dealing with an Aries it, it might be a little crazy all right I slay some and dice them so let's get going on your reading all right overall energy king of or sorry knight of pentacles you really want some truth here and you want some judgment major arcana right there you like you want truth you want the whole truth nothing about the truth so help you god like you want to put somebody in court like and be like seriously like i want the truth about how you feel about me about what you feel about me about what you've been doing has there been anything been done behind excuse me i'm sorry behind my back i just drank a diet coke so i was like burped a little bit but when I, i'm not gonna edit the video you just get me as me but you guys really just, you want the truth. Like, that's what you're thinking about, my Aquarius says. All right, past recent energy, Four of Swords right here. Okay, when we're talking about the Four of Swords, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And you really just like, is it time to break it off? And I feel like in the past, you had a lot of feelings about like, is it just time to to let go all right your present recent energy judgment came up again and i shuffled these bitches all right came up again like i said you want the whole truth nothing but the truth so help me god and this is major arcana you guys definitely want the truth like i feel like you feel like someone's lying to you like someone's not not giving you the whole truth and it's it's so frustrating to you it's so frustrating all right other people affecting you eight of swords right here other people are thinking you're a little bit blindfolded and bounded and they are trying to help you so let your friends help you all right we're gonna go through and we're gonna clarify all these so don't think this is just your only reading because then i go through and i do a clarification but your friends are like stopping like blindfolded with your hands tied behind your back like see you need to see the whole truth nothing but the truth so help you god you know all right blockages page of swords right there you're not even getting small messages of truth like that's what you feel and when we could clarify we'll see what's really going on and always stay till the end of a reading because the clarification makes all the difference. This is just what you're feeling right now. All right, solutions is a sun. You just want to be fucking happy. I swear, yes. So just so you know, you just want to be effing happy. Like you want so much happiness in your life. 
and you're like, I deserve this happiness. This is my solution to everything I go through and I have been through so much. I deserve this. Like, I deserve this so much. And your outcome is the Queen of Wands, which is like my vibrant, sexy time kind of lady. So if you are like a more of a feminine energy, I feel like maybe you need to um, step up the sexuality a little bit in your outcome. All right. So let's do clarification right now. I'm going to use Everyday Tarot for this. But you definitely feel like somebody is bullshitting you right now. Like, you feel like somebody's just, like, they're holding something back. Let it be, like, not wanting to say they love you and you know they love you. And, um, or somebody, like, pretending they love you when you know they don't. It, it's one or the other. But let's just do the clarification real quick. I saged and pre-shuffled everything so we don't got to do a lot. All right, let's go over your overall energy, which is the Knight of Pentacles, which is basically just like, you, you know, you just want that, you know, that little bit of honesty, that stableness, you know, and you just want that, that starting of it, like starting to be stable. I pull three cards, just so you know how I work. I pull three cards and then I, I, I come with a message from that. All right, the Empress. You are the Empress, girlfriend, and the Queen of Wands. So you're good and bad. Hydrofront in the reverse. Okay, that's Major Arcana. So right now, I feel like you're feeling like an Empress. You're feeling completely um, stable in your own skin. You're feeling sexual. But then we have this Hydrofont, which is Major Arcana, in the reverse so it's like you're not feeling like this is stable energy you're just like where is my stability like i give you so much of myself to the point where i am like a temptress whether you're a man or a female like masculine feminine energy you're just like you're giving it all out and you're just like when are you like i want a stable relationship out of this but I don't feel like you've got a stable relationship out of this. All right, past energy is the Four of Swords, which is like break time. I feel like definitely in the past you guys took a break. I don't clarify the past because it's Stella K. We say F the past. I do this just so you can clarify if this is like, you know, your actual reading. I don't clarify it because I always think the past is bullshit and we can always move forward present energy is judgment like that's another major arcana like you are seriously like i want the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so let's see it all right queen of pentacles which is a very stable person capricorn taurus virgo energy very stable somebody that will always give you the truth someone that will always stand by you all right seven of pentacles in reverse which is actually good because that can be like a really um frustrating kind of energy to be in again capricorn taurus virgo energy and then we have the ace of cups which is you know a lot of love this person i feel i i'm really feeling right now like they hide their love for you because they're scared i feel like they may have been hurt before and this is why you're feeling insecure or you've been hurt before and you're feeling really insecure about the love that this person may have for you. But believe me, I'm starting to think it's there. I am not feeling something much different. Your friends think you're kind of blocked off. We don't always have to listen to our friends. But let's see if they're right or they're wrong. If you're blindfolded, let's see. All right, the sun, number two. All right, tell your friends, like, I love this person. I'm going to work towards it. I'm going to try. All right. The tower moment. And a tower doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Sometimes a tower moment, especially in this deck, can mean like a major moment in your life. These are two major arcanas on top of this eight of swords that your friends think. And then the knight of wands, which is like not like 
a very fast moving um, sexual kind of loving energy but it can be let's say um, impulsive like I, I feel like one day it's just gonna come like very impulsive and your friends aren't gonna see this coming and they are gonna eat their words okay they're gonna eat their words all right so what do we got right now is blockages the blockages is the page of swords and that is a message that maybe you guys got like in a text message fight or like there was just like words that were said that didn't need to be said out of anger and these it, it, it kind of blocked your relationship even though you have two sons now and it's crazy all right we have the three of cups celebration i am not feeling like this is a third party situation i'm feeling like you guys need to celebrate together have a good time together and really get over whatever this page of swords was whatever this bad situation was and then we have the king of pentacles which is again a more stableness and now you have a pair you have the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles you have a very stable relationship capcorn taurus virgo energy and it can be any kind of energy remember we can have up to six to eight different signs in our sun chart i i advise everyone to get their charts done their birth charts so you know like what you're actually looking for when you're looking for tarot readers and then temperance balance another major arcana you have so many major arcana going on this month you guys are banging on the major arcana and it's not bad major arcana it's good major arcana all right solutions these are your blockages but that's all because of the fight you had you had a fight you know and it made you unbalanced but the solution is the sun you guys need to have a conversation well let's see what the cards say all right six of swords you guys gotta go to cooler waters okay whatever it is you're fighting about you gotta let it go and go to cooler waters and just be cool with each other all right and then we have the four of pentacles hold on to each other hold on to each other even though it might be difficult because you might still be mad at each other this is on top of the sun and you need that and it's more capricorn taurus virgo energy so definitely if you're dating an earth sign this is this is good news and then the nine of pentacles which is normally like my single gal person but in this date in this uh, uh date I, I can't believe i just said date in this deck this woman is uh pregnant so if you don't want to get pregnant definitely saddle up iud's condoms pills whatever it is you got to do if you don't want to have babies but um it's definitely peace of mind in this specific deck i know like not all tarot decks have the same meanings to the same cards but in this one look it says right at the bottom peace of mind you guys both need a peace of mind to hold on to each other's happiness this is a great effing reading oh my god your outcome is the queen of wands which is my sexy gal it means like i'm gonna say it means good makeup sex and a lot of it all right let's see what the cards have to say the star another major arcana this is going to be a major month for you guys april is going to be crazy for you guys i mean this is brightness this is hope this is wonderful um things happening for you this is exactly what you want to happen happening and it's it's bringing um life back into your relationship i feel like you guys had this fight you kind of went through something and then all of a sudden it's you're both missing each other so much you're both missing each other so much and i just i feel that like that's why my voice got softer because it was just like you're like i miss my baby i miss my baby and i want to have sex with my baby again not a an actual baby sorry 
but your baby, you know, your man or your woman. Nine of Cups, again, because you're both single right now and you're hating it. You're both hating it. Hating being single. Page of Swords right there. That is where you, somebody sends a message of clarity. Okay? That is where someone sends the message that will put this relationship back together. That's where your two sons meet. And, and I don't mean kids. I mean happiness because you have two sons on the board as far as cards go, which is the happiest card in the deck. All right, what do we want to do for Oracle cards? You guys have amazing chemistry, like amazing chemistry, and you need to keep it up. All right, we're going to do Live Your Life uh, Tarot. Is it Live Your Life? I just bought this one. Sorry. Work Your Life. I just bought it. It's a little bit stiff. But I'm sure your man is too. Or if you're a man, you're stiff too. You definitely want this woman. You want her badly. You guys just had a little tiff. Sometimes people can take a little tiff and then they tell their friends about it and then it's like they're embarrassed to go back to their ex. Don't do that. Like, don't ruin, like, the love you could have because of what other people think. Be like, you know what? I know I talk shit when we got in a fight, but I love this person, and I'm going to be with this person. Okay? All right? Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? What needs to change is what you say to people about your person. Just keep it between you two because I feel like either you or they have very um, expressive friends that will give way too much advice that they don't need to be giving. Okay, unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Okay, so and it, when I read this card, I feel like you got, even though we didn't get a twin flame or a twin cup or anything like that, I, I really feel like you guys are bound to be together in this lifetime. And just get rid of the patterns, especially with the friends. I feel like the friends have gotten in the way a lot. All right, don't dim it to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Exactly. This is the most important card right here. Do not dim your light to fit in. Who gives an F what other people think? It's what you guys think of each other. It's how you want to be with each other. It's how much you love this person. It's how much they love you. And other people's opinions do not matter. They do not matter. Because the only bad cards besides your breaky break right here I pulled were what your friends thought. And I like to put this in my spread because I make up my own spreads. Because I know that people can have such an influence on us. And this is kind of like my empathic read that I'm going to do for you right now. And I feel like right now, like your friends on both sides, not just yours or theirs, like have such a huge influence on this. It, because it may have been a huge fight or somebody did something they weren't supposed to do. But there is love here. There is so much love. And there is so many great things to come if you guys can really put what other people think aside. And I know that's really hard for air signs. But sometimes you got to do it for love. All for love, baby. All right, I'm Stella K. Thank you so much for watching a Stella K video. If you want a private reading, everything's down below. Please give me a thumbs up. I'm still a newbie on YouTube only a couple months in and subscribe and I love you guys and I'll see you in two weeks for a how do they feel about you reading and I'm pretty sure in two weeks if you take my advice the how do they feel about you is gonna be um kind of off the charts because this was amazing good luck my Aquarius love you